This is Chris Burkhard, and we are at the start of the Tour Divide 2023 in beautiful Banff, Canada, uh, and this is my bike. It is a Fazari Solitude, fully rigid mountain bike platform that I've chosen to throw on a set of Envy forks. Obviously, the whole bike has been custom painted, and uh, a set of Zip wheels, 3.0 motos, paired with some Schwalbe 2.1 in the front and rear Racing Ray and Racing Ralph. I chose this platform because I wanted the aggressiveness of a mountain bike um, and the comfort on the downhills while still having a really light setup, um, even though I'm sacrificing a little bit of frame space for, um, for packing and bags and stuff. Uh, for my seat, which is also has a tiny bit of suspension, I'm using a Cane Creek seat post, gives me just a little bit of play right there and my favorite, the Infinity Seat, which I've used on almost every ultra race I've done. Um, this system is really built for comfort. It's really not built for too much aggression. The goal is to be able to sit super nicely on these profile design aero bars and just kind of rest the whole time if I need to, or use these as an extra added hand position in addition to these SQ Labs or the Ergons. For the cockpit, since this bike is set up fully rigid, meaning no suspension, I'm using a redshift stem. Gives me just a little bit of suspension for the rocks. I've also got a very, <laughs> very, um, you know, soft and cushy grip system here with ergons and then some added extra little um, gel grips up front. Um, bars are, um, are flat bars, obviously aero bars up front, which is kind of a hodgepodge. I have a little bag system here for gloves, bear spray, feed bags, and then I come down to my kind of main electronics kit, which is a tail fin, top tube pack, one of the older style that has a little bit of um, spandex so I can fit in a couple of tiny, tiny little key items. Um, in the back, I've got another little storage piece for my tools and just emergency equipment that I need to get to. Um, frame bag, which is where I've got extra layers, food, um, kind of the, the you know, sealant, all the stuff I'm hoping to not get to. Um, and then really the heart of the, the whole kit is this tail fin rear rack that is basically set up as my main storage for um, a sleeping bag kit, and my jacket, rain shell, rain pants, extra layers, all that. In here I have no food. Um, it's, it's pretty minimal. Um, it is bulky and it's packed down tight. And this model is, a, is actually a, um, a J. Peterberry design. Um, he designed this in 2021 with tail fin racks uh, to create something that was a little more uh, nimble for bike pack racing specifically. So this is an unreleased setup um, and it works really well. The outside pockets and the uh, bungee up top is excellent for putting extra food or extra layers when things get wet. Um, the whole bike is also built around the SRAM transmission system. I've got an EXO crank here and I'm running a 34 tooth in the front and 10 to 52 in the rear, which basically gives me that 520% range for those steep climbs. Um, again, whole bike is kind of built upon this, you know, mountain bike frame setup that is really supposed to be, for me at least, ideal for those conditions when I want to go fast and I want to feel comfortable, not too hunched over. Um, it's an awesome setup. Garmin phone tracking device out of my Garmin inReach Mini, and that's pretty much it. Um, other piece of the puzzle is just this uh, pedal ed vest that holds some water, um, some extra, you know, kind of dop kit, supplies, whatnot, hand wipes, things like that, extra layer, and food. Well, here she is, my fully rigid setup for the Tour Divide 2023. I've uh, thought pretty meticulously over the last couple of years on everything I'd used, tested it at length, and I'm super happy to be here in Canada starting off in, well, about 12 hours. <laughs> so I'm ready to give it hell, and I'm um, excited to see how this bike fares on this absolutely beast of a ride.